how Manchester United can beat Liverpool, why Juan Mata could be key at Anfield. In his weekly tactics analysis, Danny Higginbottom explained why Juan Mata could be Manchester United's key man at Liverpool on Super Sunday. When you look at United's team, they have one player in the top 27 in the Premier League this season for assists, and that's Marcus Rashford. When you look at Manchester City, they have a David Silva, a Bernardo Silva, a Kevin De Bruyne, not naturally no tens but players who drift into that position. December 16, 2018 3.30 p.m. live on when you look at Tottenham you have a Christian Eriksen, a Delali, both very good at creating and assisting. Giorgino is the deep-lying playmaker for Chelsea, and you have Hazard also. Unless Juan Mata is on the pitch, it is very difficult for United to see a player drift into that no-10 position, so I think Mata becomes vital when a United play against teams who will sit back and be against sides like Liverpool where you will be giving up possession and looking to play on the counter-attack. Danny Higginbotham United have got plenty of pace in the team to stretch oppositions, but in order to utilize that, you need players to get into the space that has been created by others. Nobody is doing that in this situation for United, so they are having to go backwards and sideways. The game then slows down. See Liverpool and Man United go head-to-head -head on Sky Sports this weekend I think if Mata does start, he won't be asked to do too much of the defensive work. I think he'll be told to get himself into an area, when United are defending, where he can't be picked up. So when United pick the ball up, their first pass would be to Mata. If they are able to do that, instead of playing the one long ball from defense to attack under a lot of pressure. If they can find Mata free. All of a sudden they might have a Lingard, a Rashford, a Marshall running off him down the channels. Danny Higginbotham because both Liverpool fullbacks get forward, if United can turn it over quickly, and the first pass is vital, there will be spaces on the wings. For Liverpool it will all be about possession, asking the questions, and for United it will be about the transition. Andre Gomez did it for Everton the other week very well picking the ball up deep on the transition and saying, can I make this first pass go forward? I'm not convinced he will get a start. I think defensively they will want to be strong, so do they go with a back three or two central midfielders in front? If they play a similar formation to last week, a 4-2-3-1, it's very difficult to see where you'd fit Pogba in, because I don't think he's an 10 United are going to need pace going forward. There's no doubt about that. Personally I would start him as a center forward, but ensure those around him have pace. For United, the key to the game is going to be the turnover, the transition. When they get the ball back, how quickly do they get the ball to certain players? If he plays, he's got a huge role to play. Watch Liverpool vs Manchester United on Sky Sports Premier League at 4pm on Super Sunday. Enjoy all of the festive football fixtures by getting Sky Sports Premier League and Sky Sports Football for just £18 a month. Predict 6 correct scores for your chance to win £250,000.